All right, anyway, he's watching. I'm... All right, anyway. My bad for a second. I thought my audio was out. Just looking at the wrong uh, audio on my OBS. All right. Today I've got just one of these. I just picked this up because why the hell not? I like the old cards and shit. Not really planning to get much out of this, but would like to get a Blue Ice Chaos Dragon. Not Chaos Max, just Blue Ice Chaos Dragon. That's my biggest hope from this one. Maybe um, Harpy's chant, the Harpy Secret Rare. I will have to see on that though. I've got an entire booster box of Lightning Overdrive. This is a sealed pack. Pick this up in my local card shop. Not sure what I really want out of this, to be honest. But it had a lot of things I wanted, if I remember right. It would be nice to get something, uh, with the Ruddy Rose Dragon. That's how they call it in the, uh, censored version. And then I've got four of these, actually. The Ten of Ancient Battles. This came out earlier this month, I believe. And it's sealed, too. First, I'm going to start off with something small, because I've only got one of these. This is a full booster box. box. We'll probably... Do this second, or maybe I'll do the four of these second. I'm still not sure on that. I'll probably only sleeve them any something if it's a decent value, but otherwise I'll probably just go off to the side until the end, or till after stream, and I'll do that on my own time. Anyway, let's put all the rest of this away for now. We're off to the side. All right, Legendary Duelist. Let me actually bring up something real quick. Okay. Let's see, Legendary Duelist. I don't think there's anything particularly valuable in this overall. It's all pretty cheap. If I remember right, the most expensive card just barely covers the cost of the box. But I didn't buy this specifically to pull anything crazy. Yeah, this is the most expensive one. Blue Eyes, Abyss Dragon. I've gotten one of these before. Single Machine goes still pretty decently priced. And the box itself goes for... A little higher than MSRP, if I remember right. I wouldn't mind getting another Blue Eyes alternative. Harpy Perfumer is what I hope, kind of hope to get, because I have been missing that from my Harpy stuff. And this Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon is the one that I don't really have. That I would like to get at least one of right now. Oh, Sage with Eyes of Blue might be pretty good to have an extra one of two. Alright, let's crack this open then, I guess. Oh yeah, these come with a dice too. Kind of hoping to get the other Blue Eyes dice, but I don't have the white one. Alright. All right. All right, let's see what the uh, dice and special card are. Do a peek. Oh, there's the packs. 
Oh, there's the back of the uh, special card. Let's see what that is. And it's... Perfect. That's exactly where I wanted from this. Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, not Max. That's another one to add to the collection. This one has its uses besides Chaos Max. It's got a different type of effect. Very useful. Helps also set up for Chaos Max, too. So I'm going to set that off to the side now. Alright, the dice is unfortunately one I've already gotten before. I'm not sure exactly what this one is supposed to be, though. It looks like some kind of bear tiger thing. Alright, and then we got three legend or two, two legendary duelist packs. These have 18 cards each. Putting the box off to the side. Alright. Let's crack open the first one. Let's see. Okay, so as far as I remember, the secret rares are pretty much all out, I believe, because those you only get one per box, one of like six or something. So I'm kind of just hoping for a blue eyes alternative mostly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon wouldn't be bad to have either. I don't think I have one of those. Alright, here we go. First of Legendary Duelist Season 2. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the number of the cards is I'm supposed to put to the back and whatnot, so I'm just going to straight up go through it as it is. Alright, Photon Vanquisher. Oop, don't want to spoil it. Blackwing, Gust the Black, Back Blast. Master with Eyes of Blue. Abyss Actor, Comic Relief. Harpy Lady 3. Abyss Actor, Mellow Madonna. A Decoy Dragon. Harpy Lady 1. Not too bad to get a couple extra of those. Oh, per nice. Blue Eyes Alternative. That's a good one, actually. Very nice to have for Blue Eyes decks. Uh, this is the default color one. It's the highest value version of this card, I believe. So you can get ones with green, blue, or purple text. Nice. That's a keeper. Okay, next holo card. Ooh, Cyber Dragon Nashter. Pretty cool to have with the, uh, well, I guess this just came out, the new Cyber Strike just came out. Nice to have a hollow version of this. It only comes common in that, I believe. And a Blue Eyes. Nice. Always like to have more of those. All right, now back to the commons. Oh, purple print of what? Oh, it's purple print Cyber Nastra, yeah. Welcome to the stream, Shiranui. All right, Lunalite Luna stuff. I gotta take a look at the Lunalite stuff sometime. Haven't really looked over that archetype yet. There's the fusion for it. Got too many of these. Garbage. <laughs> Another Lunalite. I've definitely opened these boxes before, so I have plenty of the I've seen plenty of these cards before. Harpy Harpist. Hunting Ground, that's actually a nice one to have if you don't have three of them already. And I think we're back at the beginning at this point. Yep. Okay. Bring these off to the side. Yeah, I'm just going to throw them over here. Throw the pack to the floor. <laughs> Alright. Next of these. 
glad to see that alternative, though. That's a really nice one to have an extra of. At the moment, I only have one. Super Strident Blaze. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Whitestone. Nice one to get. I think I have plenty of those already, though. Galaxy Zero. Chaos Form. I think I need more of these. I don't think I have three. Maybe I do. Not really sure. First Stream. Photon Hand. Cybernetic Revolution. I think this one's also in Cyber Strike now, is it not? Or is this only in the uh, old Revolution decks? Can't remember. Anyway. Ooh. White Star of the Ancients. That's also always a nice one to have an extra of, I guess. I don't know. Do you really need to run more than one of these in a Blue Eyes deck? Either way, it's a nice looking card. Oh, okay, that's sick. That, this is one of the other ones I thought looked good to get to. Purple text version. Are these first edition? Yeah, they are. And the ultimate creature of destruction. I don't think I have this art of this card. I think I have the, one of the older arts, maybe. All right, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Yeah, I guess so. Mag Magnificent Machine Angel. Isn't this a for Cyber Angels? Yeah, it's for Cyber Angels. Harpy's Feather Rest. Hysteric Sign. Cyber Angel Izana. That's a nice one to have. Luna Light Fusion. Fallen Angel of Roses. And we're at the beginning again. Okay, that's the uh, Legendary Duelist pack. Not bad, actually. I'm actually pretty happy with that set. Got two of the cards I really or three now, actually, out of that I was hoping I'd get. It's actually probably one of the best ones I've gotten as far as the game things I want. Okay, um, I guess next we'll go into start smaller and go into Lightning Overdrive. Maybe we're starting bigger. I think this one actually has higher value potential cards, but it is older too. Anyway, let's see what um, Lightning Overdrive has in it. Probably just going to do this next either way. Lightning Overdrive. Okay, yeah, there's Starlights in here, that's why. Yeah, it's got a bunch of fun stuff in it. Diviner of the Herald might be nice to get. I think I have a decent number of Drytron stuff. I still need to get a few more key cards, though. Ruddy Rose. This is one of the cards I got last time, the Administrator. I did get this, too. I do want to build more around the uh, Live Twin set, but... Still missing a few cards on that, too. Missing the really important ones, the uh, links. All right. Yeah, yeah, Diviner would be nice to get. What's the rarity on that? Secret? Yeah, that's... Not a great chance. Might see one. If we're lucky, maybe two, but I doubt it. I need to get change the knife on that. It's awful. <laughs> All right. Lightning Overdrive booster box opened. Or how do you, how the hell do you actually open these? I've never actually f opened a brand new box. It should be simple. You just fold it over, right? Yeah. And let's see. You do this, and... Oh, there goes a the key. Oh, there we go. 
Um, oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. I don't know exactly how this goes. Whatever, close enough. Does it come in Starlight? I'm not sure. I feel like it would if it were Starlight, it would have been at the top here. Unless it's unlisted on TCG player, which could happen, maybe? Alright, let's get into the first pack, I guess, then. Oh, my bad. Did you say something on Discord, Lunar? I missed it. Yeah, Lunar, I've already finished the um, Legendary Duelist box. I actually got a pretty good set out of that. Got, hold on. Got a Chaos Max, or not Chaos Max, the Chaos Drag, which I didn't have, which is good. as the special card or whatever. Got an alternative out of these. Got the Blue Eyes alternative. I got a uh, Moonlight Rose Dragon. I forget the full name. And there's something else. No, oh, well, that's not important. Let's just get to these next packs, I guess. Yeah, I don't stream too often, Sharon. Anyway. I usually just do this every so often for a small group of friends, but you're free to feel free to stay and watch if you want. I don't mind having other people around. Oh man, I'm butchering opening this. Okay. All right. After this pack, this pack, I'm going to check the number of the cards so I can move the important ones to the back. Okay. Might, they may already be in the back, too, but I forget how they arrange them in these. All right. One curry way. I've seen this plenty of times in this set. Dark Eyed Nightmare. Terrors of the Underroot. Oh boy, I've seen this card so many times in this set. I'm sick of this card, personally. And the Ultra is Ruddy Rose Witch. Give me a second. All right. Yeah, I've definitely seen this before. Is Springit is Springit's fun? I've never I haven't looked over the whole archetype before, but I've got tons of the Springit's brothers. Uh, the Great Sphinx retrain. ZS Armored Sage, Armed Sage. And I think we're at the beginning. So let me see how far back was that one. Two, three. So I get, guess I put two cards from the back to the front. Yeah. All right. Maybe I should have opened the tins first. I would have somewhere to put all these cards. All right. Let's see, I take. Two to the front, I believe. All right. Judge of Ice Barrier. I think this is one of the newer Ice Barrier cards, is it not? Star Mine. Amaze Attraction, Majestic Merry-Go-Round. Oto Shidamashi. A cute little otter. Isn't that adorable? Paleozoic Cambro Raster. Starry Night Seal. How many cards are these in the back? Nine. I already lost count where I am, though. Oh, Amaze. Amazement Family Faces. I wonder if I'll be able to get enough Amazement cards to build a deck around those. They seem like a fun archetype. Alright. I think that's the start of that one. Yeah. Alright. 
next pack. Two. Okay. There's that card again. One. One for one. Amazement special show. I don't know if I've seen this card before in this set yet. Another one for the amazement archetype. One curry way again. Four rock generations. ZW Pegasus Twin Saber. Sun Valon Melius. Zexel and Trust. I think already at the beginning. Oh, almost. Okay, that's that pack. Yeah, I'm not good at keeping track of which card we're on. You know what? I'm just gonna, real quick, I'm just going to go straight to the, from the back. Okay, it's not two, it's four then? Yeah, I think it's four to the front, from the back. Sunvine Crossbreed, Mujin, Mah Mahitotsu, Mason Ambassador, Bofu, Bofu D's nuts. <laughs> Got him. God damn it. I hate myself for that one. <laughs> Clock Arc. Don Mari at Ignister. Aren't there more of these in the uh, Ten of Ancient Battles, the at Ignisters? Hoping to get more of those. Sky Scourge, Sea to Hells. And Dogmatic Calamity, and Hey, I Meet You, and Oh, there's the uh, Secret Rare. I think this is the worthless one, but Bahalutia, the Grand Radiance. Okay, it's not a Starlight Rare. So it's probably further down. Yep, 150. <laughs> not too much. What is this archetype for? Did not see any uh, specific names in the description. Uh, it's not focusing very well. I guess it's a pretty generic card. Dragon type, at least, and light. Alright. I think we're at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, that's one secret rare. But are we not guaranteed to a box, or is that, like, just the average? I'm actually hoping to get get the uh, Trap Tricks Kularia for trap trick stuff. That's a fun archetype for me. Alright. One, two, three, four. Alright. Amaze Attraction Rapid Racing. Fukubuki. ZS Arm Sage. Ferona Guardian Sphinx. ZW Pegasus. AI challenge you and Kelly's a uh, Cambro Raster and I'm doing this way too early. DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell and ZW Dragonic Halberd. I'm probably gonna be able to build a deck of ZW stuff by the end of this. Maybe. All right. Nope. One, two, three, four. Springen's booty. I've definitely seen this card a lot too. 
or rock a big blow. Oh man, entering these into the key, my catalog card is going to be a nightmare after I'm done. Mancha move right. War rock Mahmud. Terrors of the Underroot. Spring Ends Brothers. Judgment of the Branded. S Force Dog Tag. And Rocks Rose Dragon. That's a nice one to have, I think. What's that? What's that a piece of junk? Hold up. Some kind of piece of junk or something. Looks like stuck to the card. Is that foiling? Oh well, it's so whatever. All right. Next pack. All right. I'm, at this point, I think I'm going to start skipping once we've seen, just to speed this up. So, find Crossbreed, Fukabuki, Ferronicari Sphinx, Hey, I Challenge You, Scrap Raptor, Boo Boo Game, Son of Lawn Daphne, and Hey, the Ruddy Rose Dragon. It's a nice one to have. And that's two secret rares. I think that's all we're supposed to get on average in these booster boxes. Glad it was that one, though. In JP, these are called Bloody Rose Dragon, but they decided to change the name. Alright. Actually, how much is that one? Okay, yeah, I'm sleeving that one. Yep, it's by Konami. my new technique for sleeving things in Dragon Shield cards because this fit is very tight. There we go. It's in there clean. Alright, next pack. So, I don't expect to see any uh, Secret or Starlights anymore, but I'm going to finish the pack. Two, three, four. Hidden Springs of the Far East. Maze Attraction Wonder Wheel. World Soul, Soul Carbon. Vessel Rose suit, Shoot. Otoshi Domashi. Maze Attraction Merry Go Round. S Force Dog Tag. One Curry Way. And. Amazement Precious Park.
or Rockwento. Oh boy, look at the stack of Lightning Overdrive already. I really should have opened the tins first and thought this through. Maze Attraction, Rapid Racing. So merry-go-round. Oh, I think I spoiled it a little bit. Looks like an XZ's. Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. Utopia Ray worth anything? Doesn't look like it. Jeez, is it not even on this third page? I want to find this real quick. It's on the last page. Or did I must have missed it? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Yep, not that worth that much. All right. All right, clock arc. And Tri Brigade, Barum, the Rampart Rampager. Isn't this a good card for Tri Brigade? I think it was, was it not? I feel like I remember seeing this one. Not on page one, though. No, it's on page two. Still low value, but it's whatever. And Thrawn the Disciplined Angel. Need art on that one. One current, uh, you and I, head springs. And that uh, spoiled it. War Rock Spirit. All right. Next card. Pack. Bring his booty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and really? Oh no! Oh, okay, I, I, I think yeah, this is a nice one to get. Um, I have a bunch of Magistus stuff from the Genesis Impact I opened last time. I don't think I got this one last time. Yeah, this is why on the second page. All right.
and Springen's Merrymaker. I'm not sure if I have this one yet. Maybe that makes all the difference in making Springer's good or something. Anyway, next. And Edda the Sun Magician. All right. I'm going to go back to page one over here. These are the big hit cards, sort of high to low. Starlight means the uh, entire card is foiled, basically. Well, the rim and the art. All right, I'm changing the song. One second. All right. There we go. That's a good song. All right. And... Stay Sailor, Romarin. I've definitely seen this a few times in previous packs. You and I, two, three. Well, that's spoiled already a little bit. It's a link or a ritual, so... Dark if Infant Agnister. Link 1. It's probably really important for Agnister. And Bujin Torifune. Zexel rank up magic force. All right. And hey, another Lina. Really like the Charmer cards. They're fun to play with. Fortunately, it's not the Starlight Rare, so. Uh, yeah, I actually have a couple of her now at this point, Lunar. <laughs> I've pulled her a few times. I still have the deck around, though. Not not terrible to have an extra one, I guess. Alright. More amazement stuff. Clock arc. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, spoiled it. Amazement Attraction Horror House. I haven't seen this one yet. 
spoopy. Seems appropriate to pull this during October. Oh, it's actually not the worst price, 250 for that card. All right, we have one other pack besides this one that we can get over to the tins. Honestly, that's what I'm more excited about at this point now that we've already pulled two star, uh, secret rares from this. I doubt there will be a starlight in here. All right. All right. Three, four, six, seven, and... <laughs> There's another one. I think I've got four of those now. Still, it's really nice art, though. All right, last pack, then we can get to the tins. And I'll have somewhere to actually put the rest of these cards, too. I haven't seen this card yet. And Amazement Attendant Comica. I actually don't have this card yet. I have the Administrator, but not her. Oh, they're a she's a machine? Is she on the first page? Second page? Yeah, 74 cents. All right, that's Lightning Overdrive done. Let's get rid of all these packs. All right, now on to these 10 of Ancient Battles. You know it, Dixon. All right, so if I remember right, there's three 18 card packs in each of these, so like 60 cards each per 10. I've got four of these. And let's see. Of ancient battles. Let's see, the tins are supposed to have three mega packs of 18 cards. And then each one's supposed to have a prismatic secret rare, two ultra rares, two super rares, a rare, and 12 commons. So about 60 cards per tin, because there's three packs. All right. And the biggest hits on this is actually an ultra rare, because this card is just good. This one's also pretty good too. Triple Tactics Talent. Actually, I should probably full screen this when I'm talking about these. All right, Cross Out Designator is the main one though. Valuable because it lets you essentially tar like out certain cards if you know people are going to be running it. But you have to actually play it in your deck too as a trade off. <laughs> you wish, Lunar. Let's see, Nadir Servant, Ice Dragon's Prison. Divine Arsenal wouldn't be bad to get either. I don't have one of those yet. There's Dogmatica stuff. I think there's a bunch of archetypes overall in these. Just of like the last year stuff. The, a couple of things I would like to get is True Light, which, and the other Blue Eyes slash Dark Magician support cards. They're not super valuable in here, but I just want to have them. All right. So here's the first 10 opening. Ooh, they're clean. Yeah, I should probably full screen that, huh? All right. Let's redo that now that we're actually full screen. 
All right. There's th three packs per box, or ten. Um, I believe I can fit more cards in here if I just get rid of that. See how cleanly do these fit in here? Please tell me they fit perfectly. There we go. That's nice. So we're gonna put all the cards now. Okay. This is the card I use to uh, sleeve things. See, my thumb's been here so much from pulling the card out that it's starting to fade away the text. I always use this exact card. All right. So, 18 cards per pack. So these are big packs like the um, Legendary Duelist packs, kind of. There's always going to be a secret rare in each of these. I wonder what order they put these in, though. I'm just going to go from the top. Mutually Assured Destruction. I believe these are Magician Pekeru and Ebon? Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen the base cards for these. What is that black spot on my finger? Yeah, whatever. Melfi Playhouse. Oh yeah, Melfi's are in here. Those cards are adorable. And I believe they're a good, like, beast um, support set or something like that. Ibisella Lutia. Vidran, the Winds of Mischief. Red Rain. Is this a Red Eyes card or? Oh, it's um. I forget the name of the card. It's used by. I forget. I don't remember the name at all. Okay, Rika Queen Stena. Strena. Infernoble Arms Durendal. Oh, Infernoble cards are in here. Swapping the song real quick. It's a bit loud for me. Alright. Add Emancipator Relief. Okay, is this where we're going to see all the hollows all in this part? Ad Emancipators seem interesting. I need to take a closer look at that archetype. And Win the Wind Channeler. This is the Prismatic Secret Rare for this pack. Yeah. I don't think this one's going to be on the first page. I doubt it'll be. Oh, actually, 45 cents. Not awful. Well, a dollar and 42 cents. All right. Maybe I'll actually throw that into my Spirit Charmer deck. I think this one has an interesting effect, if I remember right. Dogmatica, Fluridelis, the Knighted. Ooh, awesome. Triple Tactics Talon. This one's just 40 bucks. Easy. Clap. Paid for the tin. And the other one. This is just a good card to throw in pretty much any deck. Yeah, it's it's not Noble Knight exactly, Lunar. It's in for Noble Knights. Um, I guess it kind of is Noble Knights. I think that's the Fire ones, is it not? Could be wrong, though. I think you can make them work together. I'm actually going to sleeve that one, just because it's... I'm probably going to use that, too.
that's a pog. All right, I think that was all of the uh, hollows in here, maybe? Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, oh man, the focus autofocus is not working right. A Deep Sea Prima Donna. <clears throat> Hinezumi Hanabi. Pruffiness the Tactical Trapper. Deep Sea Artisan. Link Burst. Hmm. Blizzard. <laughs> They're getting sued. All right, and I think we're at the beginning. Yep. All right. All right, I kind of want to put a separator between these cards. Um, I guess I'll use the, the pack wrapper for now. I know it's kind of tacky to do that, but just want to keep them separated until I finish this. Oh man, this is not working very well. One second. All right, I'm back. Had to get an extra box to just help hold these up. So the cards are just flipping down. There we go. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, Lunar, I see you. All right. Let's hope for some more cool stuff. I actually didn't know Triple Tactics was that high up. I thought it was a little lower than Cross Out, but it's not too far behind. All right. Melfi Tag. Look at all the cute little animals. Resonator command. Melfi mommy. God, these cards are just adorable. Buzzsaw shark. Jabbing panda. Oh, here's one of the Infernal Noble, Infer, Infernal Knights, Infernal Knight Magus. These are based on like the uh, Charlemagne Knights or something like that. While the Noble Knights are based on the King Arthur Knights, and they're all fire type, fire attribute, and warriors, I guess. Armory call. All right, is that another Melfi? Melfi of the forest. Look how cute it is. And the secret rare for this pack, Tri-Brigade Fractal. Give me a second real quick.
All right, I'm back. Try to do something real quick. Okay. Tribergrade Fractal. Is that one even on the first page? Oh, it is, actually. Three dollars. Right? Tribergrade Nerval. Dogmatica Maximus. Brigand the Glory Dragon. Infernoble Knight Astolfo. It's another Infernoble Knight card. This is a trap. I guarantee it. Dogmatica Encounter. Melfi Pony. Rock Band Zeno Guitar. That's an interesting one. It's a rock type, too. That's funny. Born of Oil Fent. Yeah, I think this is Infernoble Knight stuff. Is it not? Yeah, it is. Tri Brigade Standoff. Melfi Tag. Are we at the beginning again? I believe we are. Yep. Okay, that's that pack done. All right, here's the last pack for this 10, but I've got three other ones. All right. Proxy F Magician. Ret Time Reviver Emitter. I actually like this one's name a lot. It's a, um, what's the word? If you read it backwards, it's the same name, though. I forgot the word for that, though. Very cool. One or eight. Battle Survivor. Code Talker Inverted. Oh. Arcajet Lightcraft. And here's the Hollows. Performapal Turn Trooper. Tri Brigade Rugal the Silver Sheller. Oh, that's sick. El Shadow Construct. This is actually a card I want because I have a shadow deck I'm trying to build around. Having more of these is always nice. Alright, Lunar. Oh, sick! It's True Light. This is that new Blue Eyes card. This I th Isn't this basically Eternal Soul for Blue Eyes? If I remember right. I might be wrong, though. And... Ghost Meets Girl, a Mayakashi's Manuscript. It would be nice to get a lot of Mayakashi cards. I don't know if there's that many in this set, though. Dragon Maid Tidying. Unfortunately, Chamber Dragon Maid is not in this. Win Pegasus at Ignister. Rookie for Hire. Oh, 
Lifeless Leafish. This is Dragalge. <laughs> Transicada. Is it rainbow on purpose? All right, execution of the contract. Rose girl. And I think we're at the beginning. Yep, okay, that's that pack. And that's that first 10 down. All right, so the pull from that tin was this. It paid for the tin, essentially, plus another tin. Hoping to see more of these or more cross-out designators. All right, I put this off to the side. I really need to change the blade on that. Not today, though, because I can do it tomorrow. All right. Here's the second tin. Now we have a new place to store more cards. Here we go, first pack. One thing I do like about these tins is just the variety of stuff. At least I say that now, that there should be a ton of different things in here, just because it pulls from a lot of different sets released recently. Doyon at Ignister. Familiar of the possessed Gaga Gigobite. Gagigobite. Ga Rain Bozu. Gluttonous Reptile Fin Grethus. Disposable Learner Device. Oh, geez, look at that poor goblin. You gonna learn. You gonna learn today. Goki Guts. Okay, here's the Hollows. Performer Pal Turn Trooper. Boring Point. And the uh, Secret Rare is Ad Emancipator Signs. Tri Brigade Nerval. Magician Salvation. That might be a fun one to put in the Dark Magician stuff. Virtual World Gate Chuche? Chuch? Marinus Bali Salama. Basi Lamila. Whatever. Hinezumi Hanabe. Wind Pegasus Agnister. Infernoble Knight. Ogier. Am I going to collect all of these by the end of this? Linker Bell. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Salaman Great. Zebroid X. Wait, are we at the start again? Yep, we are. Okay, that was quick.
All right. Infernoble Knight Oliver. That's another Infernoble Knight. Yeah, it's super serious. We've got to read this with complete seriousness. Melfi Caddy. Extreme seriousness. Look how serious the cat is. Doiton at Exister. Deep Sea Minstrel. Melfi Puppy. Look at that serious face. Torpedo Takedown. Is this an art for Water XC stuff? Okay. Okay, here's the uh, Hollows. Knock Division Dragon. Infernoble Knight, Captain Roland. I really might actually get all of these by the end of this. And invoked Ago Ag Agoides. I don't have this. I also don't have Aliaster or Invocation, which sucks. I'm pretty sure that's not in this. Not sure if this card's good for um, invoked stuff. I'm assuming it is, but I'm not sure. But I know invoked is good in general. Ghost Meets Girl, Mayakashi's Manuscript. Hot Eyes, Revolution Dragon. Alright, back to the non-hollows. Union Driver. Infernoble Knight, Astelfo. Nine Lives Cat. Redeemable Jar. Melfi Fenny. I think I might actually get all the Melfis too. I've pulled a lot of these different ones too. Add Emancipator Crystal Leonite. Infernity Doom Archfiend. Oh. Infernoble Knight Oliver. I think that's the start again. Yeah, okay. That's that pack. All right, final pack for this uh, tin, and then we got two more after this. Okay, Deep Sea Sentry. Infernoble Knight Oliver again. Oh, Captain Oliver, actually. Mutually Assured Destruction. Usari at Ignister. Rika Queen Stena. Strena. Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight. Drytron Beta Rastavan. This is actually a Drytron that I did not have that I needed. Armory Call. The, the uh, Secret Rare is Virtual World Roshi Lalau. Is this important for a virtual world? There's Lulu. This, that's the white food card that everyone likes. This one is not that one, though. King Beast Barbados. Barbaros. Nail Shadow Ariel. This is actually a great one to have an extra for the Shadow archetype. Tri Brigade, Airborne Assault. Daruma Dropper. Magalanica Deep Sea City. Witchcrafter Unveiling. Deep Sea Artisan. Link Burst. Blizzard. Deep Sea Sentry. I think we're at the beginning again. Okay, that's that 10. All right, there's two more. I'm going to just open this off stream as far as the wrapper goes. All right. 
at least getting it open. All right. Third tin out of four. All right. All right, Proxy F Magician. Red Time Reviver Emitter. I still really like this one's name. It's cool. One or eight. Awakening of the Possessed Rasen Ryu. Disposable Learner Device. Melfi Hide and Seek. The serious of Hide and Seeks. Okay, here's the hollows. Gravity controller. Link one. Thunderhand. Oh, there's the waifu one. Virtual world, my Hime Lulu. This one is four dollars. Dogmatica Nexus. Another nation, Nell Shadow Aerial. Virtual World Dragon Long Long. Red Familiar. A Lidl AI A Idol Reborn. I thought it said Lidl for a second. Ruffiness, the tactical, the tactical trapper, Rose Girl, Dogmatica Nation, Ravenous Crocodragon, Dragon, Archithis. Oh, and back to the start. Okay, that's one pack. All right, bell cat fighter. Well, that's cute. It's a plane, but it has a little bell and it's like cat shaped. Machine. Dogmaticism. 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 Not sure how to say that. Dark Templar at Ignister. TAI Strike. Melfi Puppy. Obsessive Uvua Loop. Jesus. Hey, big boy. <laughs> okay, here's the hollows. Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Trap Tricks Alamaris. This is actually what I wanted. Trap Tricks Archetype is very fun. And this is a really good card if I remember right for it. Malice, Lady of Lament. Nice. King Beast Bar Barbaros. Grave Digger's Trap Hole. Raider's Knight. Joyous Melfies. Kuji Kiri Curse. Lifeless Leaf Fish. <laughs> God damn it, Dixon. Free Rage Monsters. Melfie Fenny. Light Dragon at Ignister. And then back to the beginning.
As far as I've seen, it's not possible to ever get two of the same card in a pack. Pretty sure I've never seen that before yet. Oh, Melfi Mommy again. Proxy F Magician. Have a few of those now. Another one of these. That's three of those now. Diced Dice. Another Awakening of the Possessed. Disposable Learner Device. Here's the Hollows. Super Heavy Samurai. Swordmaster Musashi. Drytron Delta Altaise. That's another one I don't have that I needed. Almost have everything Drytron. I think I'm missing Alpha. Cross Sheep. Quad Shadow Chaos. Dogmatica Theo, the Iron Punch. Virtual World Gate Chuche. Rookie for Hire. Red Familiar. A Idol Reborn. Execution of the Contract. Rose Girl. Dogmatica Nation. And back to Melfi Mommy. Alright. We have one last tin. Personally, I'm hoping to see more of those new Dark Magician and Blue Eyes cards. If not, I might just go get them on their own. Already happy to pull at least one Triple Tactics, though. Pulling one more wouldn't be bad, though. All right, here we go, last few packs. Squeak Knight. Isn't it cute, Dixon? Look, it's a little spear is made of cheese and it's got a mouse trap shield. Dogmaticism, dogmaticism. Indulged Dark Lord. Red Rain. Rika Queen Serena. Was saw shark? I think the hollows start now. Yeah. Add Emancipator Relief. Super Heavy Samurai Swordmaster Musashi. Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Virtuous. The Virtuous. Oh, this one's actually a pretty decent value one. Ten bucks. Twelve bucks. Oh, but I guess that spoiled the next card. All right, let's go into the side of the neat stuff we pulled. All right, well, where were we? Virtual World Kirin Lili. Dogmatica, Lyridus, the Knighted. Virtual World City, Kualun. Marinus, Basi Lalima. Link Party. Melfi Rabby, oh. Fernity Doom Archfiend. I like how we went from Melfi Rabby to Doom Archfiend. Deep Sea Artisan. 
Link Burst. I think we're at the beginning again. There we go. There's Squeak Knight. All right, two more packs and we're all done. All right, Rainbow Zoo. Pokey Iron Claw. Had Emancipator Crystal. Wrap tight. Jabbing Panda. Infernoble Knight, Mog Mogus. Battle Survivor and the Hollow Start now, I think. Yep. Drytron Delta Altaeus. Performer Pal Turn tr Trooper. Malice Lady of Lament. Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Also, the Earth Charmer, immovable. Infernoble Knight, Emperor Charles. I feel like we might have actually gotten everything for Noble Knight wise. Deep Sea Prima Donna. Inezumi Hanabi. Proofiness, the Tactical Trapper. Blizzard. Rock Band Xeno Guitar. Horn of Oilfant, Oliphant. Rainbow Zoo, or is that the beginning? I believe that was. Yep. Alright, last pack. Alright, Melfi Tag. Resonator Command. Squeak Knight. Code Talker Inverted. Arc Jet Lightcraft. TAI Strike. Here's the last few Ultras and the Secrets. Phantom Knights of Stained Greaves. Link Garibo. Stiff from Link Karibo. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, Shimmering Scraper. Ooh, looks nice, but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be on the first page. <clears throat> oh, the original art one is. Oh, wait, this is like a different card in general, I believe. Okay, I'm not going further than this. Nail Shadow Ariel. I'm pretty sure I've caught and pulled this at least three times now. And Ghost Mourner and Moonlight Ch Moonlit Chill. That's a nice one to get actually. One of the hand trap cards. Alright, and that's all the ultras. Marinus Pas Pascalis. Astolfo again. Dogmatica Encounter. Melfi Pony. Tri Brigade Standoff. Transicada. Execution of Contract. Melfi Tag. And that's the beginning again. Alright. That's pretty much everything, if I remember right. Let's see. It. Over to the side, I put few things I think were pretty decent or and or fun pulls and those were Chaos Dragon, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, Ruddy Rose Dragon, Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous, and Triple Tactics Talent. This is probably the most valuable one, which is funny because it's an ultra. So overall I think I minused, over, well, maybe if I include all the other hollows, I might put it up, but 
I think I did okay. Glad to have pulled at least something. Anyways, thanks everyone for um, who decided to show up and just watch me pull some random stuff from these packs. Maybe in the future I'll do some more openings. Uh, depends on what releases in the future and if I think anything in it looks interesting to me personally. Anyways, I'm going to end the stream now and I hope you all have a good night.